Well, welcome everyone to a part of the world where the game of football is so important. There is a, a healthy tension, great expectation building up here as we head towards kickoff. It's a bit grey overhead, and indeed the forecast is for a, a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. Notwithstanding that, there is a, a lovely backdrop here. The uh, ambience is good. There's a smashing noise from both sets of supporters. And the game will be underway very shortly. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. And already we're underway here. So this is round two between these two sides who have already met once this season. So Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? I would say the Croatian Dario Scherner. Uh, he's been captain material for a number of years now. Very neat and tidy in all he does. And for a fullback getting forward, he can use his, his wing skills of old to carve out an opening. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. And it's hoisted clear. Plays it forward. Dinamo Kiev. Oh, what a great run, five wins in a row. Now it's Kane, and it's Eriksen. Jedinak. Kane! That is a great ball, but not a great finish. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. defending but that'll do struck first time Schoen up whipped in Tottenham have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here yeah that's that's interesting so what are they attempting to do well it's it's a bold attempt in my opinion to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting no goals as yet yeah that does look a foul referee's given a free kick Rossi it's come loose and play for a throw just brushed off the ball there Good challenge, he just stood firm. That was good pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. Gets wrestled off the ball. They could break here. Schoener. Gets it into the middle. Aurier goots it to safety. And the referee's awarded a free kick. And it's Kane. Davis. And the weighted pass. And he's there to cut it out. 
could move up a gear here. He's got it on the right now. What's on? Crosses it up, shakes the shoots. Yes, it's there! However they tried to stand in his way, he just was not to be denied. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Dinamo Kiev give themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? Oh, look, this is just what the fans wanted. And now that they're celebrating the opener, I think they'll want to see their team make all the running from here. He's got options out wide. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Cahill. Shito. Aurier comes out on top in a really physical duel. Out wide to the right. And it's Aurier. Ball is over the line. Jedinak. Now it's Eriksson. Kane. Corner. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Tries lifting it over. Davis gets it back. Ericsson. Sanchez Hardly anything between the sides and it's 1-0 Dinks one in Knocks it away Davis and We've reached half-time So there you have it, a close fought half of football The one that still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal A more than decent game up to now well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Dinamo Kiev, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. And we are already promptly back on the way. Dinamo Kiev really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Prashito. Forward it goes. And it's Jedinak. Defenders on the back foot. Eriksson. He's in space and looking for options. Now it's Eriksson. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Battles to win it back. Well, the pressure is relentless. It's a very, very high press. Yeah, because it's all about winning the ball back at the earliest opportunity, a trigger by one player for the others to follow and designed to force opposition mistakes. Meet 
hit it right. That was good defensive pressure to give him less manoeuvring room. Ericsson. And it's Ericsson. Rashito gets it back. Ericsson chip through. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Tottenham showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Goes for the cross. Up to meet it! It's a loose ball. Sanchez gets good distance on it. Jack Yelka. Cahill proves too strong there. Oh, good interception. Gets it upfield. Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. So, the manager making the last of his changes. Tottenham making two changes as we speak. Schoenert. Going through, and that's been levered clear. Ball's gone out of play. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Turner pumps it into the area. And it's Joaquin. Dinamo Kiev have a free kick. And he's going to have his name taken. Yeah, it would seem a, a little too far out. This will probably be a big far post. Time is ebbing away, but it feels like an eternity when you're holding on to a slender lead. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Now it's Ericsson. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Ericsson. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Whistle's gone, that's a foul. <laughs> oh, what a goal! He's got himself a pitch of a goal! We thought it was over, it's all square once more!
dispatched expertly, nicely done. So all square with almost no time remaining. Dinamo Kiev showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. No, that's not the ball he wanted. Time added on will be two minutes. He's got away. Gets up to head it! Yes, he's done it! And that may just do it! And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel, the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, no, you've got him, no, you don't. Brilliant. Dinamo Kiev. So that's it, it is all over. Dinamo Kiev come out on top. Hard four, impossible to predict. In the end, though, only the result mattered. Thrilling, nail-biting, perhaps frustrating until the very end, but we do have a winner. Well, I just think that determination and persistence has paid off handsomely to, to squeeze the win out of a draw. Sometimes it comes down to grit and desire and the stubbornness to keep plugging away. And uh, this has been great staying power. That's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and goodbye.